at Disneyland yesterday, uh, Chris Angel was there, just visiting Disneyland. He uh-huh. had some people with him uh, that were there, and a, a, a guide from Disney taking him around, and his girlfriend. A couple people were coming up, taking pictures with him, and um, I was going to go up and say hi to him, but he disappeared. Nice. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Drake Sits of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Patreon follows you. Bye. How many, people, how many people do you think go up to Chris Angel and don't just want a photo with him, but say, do a trick? Uh, yeah, he definitely does. I bet do that, that happens every freaking five minutes. Um, but hey, that's the price it, it pays to have a Vegas show and be a multimillionaire, so deal with it. Your mom has a <laughs> Vegas show. Yes, she does. Today, we got a... Um, a um, old speech from Superstar Rajnikanth. Right here on my shirt. Look at he this. is. He's right there by your nipple. nipple. Oh, yeah. Oh. Minded. Uh, but uh, this is an old speech, uh, and it all has English subtitles. Okay, they, great. They weren't, I don't believe, by our sub suburbs. And where uh, was he speeching? Uh, at a speech. A college speech? No idea. A film festival speech? Couldn't tell you. TED Talk? Couldn't tell you. Okay. And this is, I think, about how he, he came up and like some of the struggles he had. And got it. Okay. Uh, so it's personal life. Um, superstars never had a struggle. He's a superstar. Yeah. We all know. He doesn't have struggles. Struggles get superstar. Have, that's true. We all that's know. That's right. Here we go. <laughs> Hey. And the character. Amar Seringa Next day, the production manager on the trailer on the Katie and the Iroba and Katana. He like a Kormono Solali and Sonaga. He like a Iro, Kurta Prince Sonanga, Kurikli, Solomon, you like an Athenian name and a piercing there. The moment the Pudibet got a state like here in the Nan. And you want to do another career in the day. Under the phone, under the phone poet, phone put on the cater. On the particular railway on the shooting <laughs> Sitting 
டக்குன்னு சொல்லி வெயிட் அம்பாசி இருபது கார் ஃபாஸ்ட்டாக வந்து நின்னது டோர் திறந்து அந்த ப்ரொடியூசர் கீழே இறங்கினாங்க கீழே இறங்கிட்டு எடுத்த உடனே என்னடா என்ன பெரிய பெரிய இதா பெரிய ஆர்டிஸ்டா பெரிய ஹீரோவா இப்போதான் வந்திருக்கேன் நாலஞ்சு படம் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் என்ன படம் கொடுக்கல என்ன மேக்க போட மாட்டியா உங்களுக்கு எத்தனை பேர் பார்த்துருக்கா ரோட்ல அலைய வேண்டாதீங்க கேரக்டர் கிடையாது ஒன்னும் கிடையாது போடா நான் வந்து என்னங்க நீங்க தானே சொன்னீங்க அதனால இருக்கிற சொன்னா வீட்டுக்கு போ கேரக்டர் கிடையாது சரி ஓகே கார் கொடுங்க கார்ல போற சொன்னா கார் இல்ல கிடையாது அதுக்கு என்ன வாடகை கொடுக்கணும் நடந்தே போடும் அப்படின்னு சொன்னாங்க இதுகிட்ட உண்மையாவே பணம் கிடையாது பாக்கெட்ல பணம் வச்சுக்கல இந்த மாதிரி நான் என்ன தப்பு பண்ண இவ்வளவு அவமானப்படுத்தாருன்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஏவிஎம் ஸ்டுடியோல இருந்து அப்படியே நடந்து வர்ற செகண்ட் வீக் பதினாறு வயதுல இது எப்படி இருக்கு அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு போட்டு போஸ்டர் எல்லாம் நடந்து இதே மைண்ட்ல ஓடுது அந்த பஸ்ல போறவங்க எல்லாம் இது எப்படி இருக்கு இது எப்படி இருக்குன்னு கேக்குறாங்க எனக்கு வந்து இப்ப நடந்து போயிட்டு இதை பார்த்து சொல்றாங்க அப்படிங்கிறது என் மைண்ட்ல பின்னாலே ஒரு நாலஞ்சு பேரு பருட்ட இது எப்படி இருக்கு வர்றாங்க என் மைண்ட்ல எல்லாம் என்ன ஓடுதுன்னா இதே கோடம்பாக்கம் ரோட்ல ஃபாரின் வண்டி எடுத்துக்கிட்டு அந்த கால் வந்து கால் மேல கால் போட்டு உக்காந்து இதே ஏவிஎம் ஸ்டோர்ல அதே ஃபுளோர்ல வந்து போகலன்னு சொன்னா நான் ரஜினிகாந்த் கரெக்டா வந்து ரெண்டரை வருஷம் ரெண்டு வருஷத்துல வந்து ஏவிஎம் செட்டியாரி கழிச்சு இருந்த இட்டாலியன் ஃபியட் வண்டி நாலே கால் லட்சத்துக்கு வாங்கினேன் வெயிட் வருமா பிரபு <laughs> 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 Whoa! What the crap? Why would that just cut off like that? <laughs> Who in their right mind would think that's the end of the video? I'm so, uh, I was sent this, and people like, go react to this. <laughs> and, and I didn't know and, it wouldn't be and, any... And, co- co- and then something else happened, but we, we don't know what. Uh... I'm assuming <laughs> hopefully he fired that guy. That's Can you imagine uh, it, it wouldn't happen here because there's certain I mean it was so he was probably talking about this. When was that 16 when did right, it, it was yeah. 70s 80s? S- I I think it was 77. 77, okay. You were around in 77? I was. I was 8 years old. And you were so you were in the industry. I was in the industry. And Did you talk to people about salary or did you have No, agents? my parents, my parents and my manager and my agent did that. I had an you agent had and then a manager. At that time. As far as salaries concerned? Yeah. Absolutely. At that, at that time cuz like there's actors don't normally I mean you'll be your manager, or your agent will come and be like this is what they're right. offering. Right. Do you is this good with you? Blah yeah. blah. Normally it's the manager's job or the uh, agent's job to just negotiate the best they deal do they the, can. Exactly. And that's their job. Actors don't ever talk about money usually not supposed to so, because it gets in the way uh i there's a wonderful story about brian cranston uh-huh hey, you've heard about that one right i love about not looking they, at his contract they usually just cover it up i love uh, him he's like did you do a good job did you i love brian um, cranston obviously he's an actor yeah if you don't know the story about that he never sees the amount he's getting paid but i know that this happens a lot it's actually actors that talk to the producers or the directors and they discuss salary and it's it's just it's so extremely different even though i know like big stars have like agents and stuff like that but like smaller ones not so much uh it's and it's still not really a thing i do know that because i've talked to people in 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 the in the indian industries uh but the fact that they <laughs> you'd work without guarantee of I, pay yeah and, like is absolutely insane and the fact that or to be told then turned into rajnikanth i mean that's a legal thing yeah to have somebody tell you I'm going to give you an advance and not give you the advance. That's that's lying. Yeah. Take them to court. We, I mean, it, it, and we have a lot of safeguards here for that. A like lot. obviously, 
managers and agents, but also Screen Actors Guild. Yeah. If you're if you're finding out that you're not being paid, Screen Actors Guild do not show up to work. Yeah. We will sue them. <laughs> and and I don't I don't obviously not knowing the Indian industry, but I've I've had two experiences where I did not have an agent or a manager talk to production and I talked to production myself. Yeah. That turned out where I was really looking forward to being a part of the production and it turned out the production was never done. One was a misunderstanding that had to do with a, a project that I had thought was going to be a SAG project and turn out to be non-union and we did everything we possibly could to make it happen. That was a good experience because the creator of the, the, the film was a, is a sweetheart of a guy and did a great job. The other one was I just was put in a position that I should have never been put into and I left the project because what I was being asked to do was freaking illegal. And he both ones. This one's obvious. This one, mm. even though it turned out to be a good relationship thing, there's a reason you have agents and managers. Yeah. And even if I wasn't signed with an agent or manager, I would have somebody I trust talk and negotiate to people. Actors should never have to talk to producers about what's going on contractually about the job. Yeah, such a different... Uh, they should be focused on the art, not yeah. the money side of it. Such a different industry. It's wild. And the fact that he did that to Roshnikanth, uh should be extremely embarrassing. Hopefully that guy got like fired and blacklisted. Hopefully, Seriously. Like, that's not cool. You can't, no, you can't do stuff like that. Tell people you're going to pay them and then expect them to work without pay because they're, at that time, not a big right man. and then he's simply asking for what he was told he was going to get graciously says okay i won't get it here i'll give it to you here okay i'll give it to you here and then he shows up and says we're on the day of the shoot where's the advance you said you'd give to me yeah and then he treats him like he's asking for something he never agreed to and says get off my studio asshole yeah <laughs> and it's turned out to be superstar rajnikanth yeah. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I love that he was petty enough to when he, he got money. He just decided. And I wanted to hear the end of the story. I know. I wanted to hear how that ends. Maybe that is how it ends. And he just says a couple of pleasantries at the end. I wanted him to like flip up his cigarette. Yeah, that's when they said the cigarette. Go, like, go yeah, up to the guy, like throw a thousand rupees at him and be like, mind it. And then <laughs> storm off. Like, that's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Which is different than some of the stories you hear about people who've been told you're never going to be a success and have been negative to people. This guy outright was freaking ripping him off. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good for I'm, you, Rajnikanth. And I'm sorry that uh, this wasn't a complete yeah. video. I, I, how, how's I, it, how are we going to know? I didn't know. We have to go into these raw. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know other uh, videos we can react to, other Rajnikanth uh, speeches or others. What should be the next superstar Rajnikanth film we should watch? Please let us know down below. Just...